lives are getting busier and busier. I like to make recipes which are quick and simple to make. When you come home after a very hectic day at work, you want to make dish which is quick to make, yet delicious, and uh, not too many varieties, just one pot dish uh, which you can which can serve as a whole meal. So welcome to Something's Cooking with Appa and today we are going to make Matar Pulao. Let's look at the ingredients that you're going to need for this. Of course, we're going to need some rice for the pilau, potatoes, onions, tomato, green chili. I've taken some water to boil the rice in. Asafetada, that's hing, cumin seeds, that's jeera, garam masala. This is my homemade garam masala. You will be able to find a link in the description and uh, bay leaf that is tej patta, cinnamon stick that's dalcini, black pepper that's kali mirch and cloves that's long. And of course you cannot make matar pulao without some matar. So let's get started with the process. It's pretty simple to make. I've already put a little bit of oil and it is already heated up. To this I'm going to add all of my whole garam masalas. The whole spices are sizzling a bit. I'm going to add the cumin seeds and they already started popping. So I'm going to add some asafetada, asafetada. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that is hing and some onions now. Okay, so now we're just going to quickly stir this and we're going to cook this till the time the onions are halfway cooked. While I have, I'm stirring this and while this is getting cooked, I want to make sure that I chop up the green chilies. The way I want to chop up these green chilies is basically just take one, cut it into half then split it like this see so basically we are making like four parts out of one green chili and then just throw them in along with the onions we're gonna do the rest of the green chilies the same way so all our green chilies are inside the cooker along with the onions time for us to now add the potatoes now these are uh, raw potatoes guys I have not boiled them so this might take a tad bit longer to cook so I'm gonna wait till the time the potatoes are a little bit cooked okay not all the way because we're gonna pressure cook it any which ways meanwhile while that is happening what I want to do is Take the tomato and make a paste out of it. Today I'm just going to go the short route and I'm not going to do the removing the skin, putting it in hot water kind of thing. I'm just going to make big pieces like this. And put this all in the mixer so now guys I'm gonna show you once the puree is ready tomato puree and the potatoes are halfway cooked so the potatoes are somewhat I would say halfway cooked and our tomato gravy is also ready so first now we'll put the peas these are already kind of blanched in just give it a quick stir And then now we're going to add our tomato puree. Now we're going to mix this. Add a little bit of salt. Say, I'm going to add enough for the veggies as well as the rice. And I'm just going to lightly cover this up. I'm just going to cover it up like this 
and we'll get back to it once the tomato puree is nicely cooked. So it's been about three to four minutes and it should be sufficient time for the tomato puree to be fully cooked. Looks like everything is nicely cooked in. Now it's time for us to add the garam masala, the Punjabi homemade garam masala and the rice. Well, I had washed the rice and drained the water and kept it aside for about half an hour. Okay, so now let's just mix everything together. Now we are just going to add some water. Now make sure that you always add a little bit of warm or hot water. I always tell you guys never to add cold water to any of your half cooked dishes. It kind of takes away the taste from that dish. So I'm just gonna give a thorough mix and then we are just going to lightly cover this up. Like, we are not going to close it. We are just lightly going to cover it up. And I keep laughing in the middle of my videos is because today out of all days when I'm using this cooker to, you know, to make a video, this ring keeps coming off. Every two minutes, this ring keeps coming off. I don't know what to do. Okay, but anyways, we we are still need we are still going in the right direction with or without the ring. We just need to keep it like this. Keep an eye on it, and I will tell you what next step we have to go for. It's been three to four minutes on medium high flame, and this is where it is at. It's the perfect time to basically now to keep this thing and lock it. Now we're gonna just wait for one whistle and then we are almost 95% ready because I still have to plate it and there's a taste test. So see you back after one whistle. So after one whistle, I let the pressure cooker cool down a bit so that we can open the lid and Abracadabra. Look at that. Isn't that just so inviting? Now just guys, what we need to do now is just add a little bit of the purified butter, which is ghee. Very little, not much, you know. And then just cover it up for just 10 seconds. Just 10 seconds till the time the ghee is melted and it goes inside all of the rice. So the ghee must have nicely melted in and it is smelling amazing over here. And now it's time for us to plate it. Look at that. Every stand of rice is separate. This is a perfect pulao. If it gets all clumpy, then it's a no-show. But when the rice is nice and separate from each other, and when you can tell that there are different, you know, pieces of rice, that is when you know you have made a good pulao. I love to eat this with some instant chatpat chutney. This chutney is actually my one of my favorite chutneys. It is really simple to make and it is very different from other chutneys. Other chutneys are like a paste, but this has some chunks of, uh, you know, tomato and garlic and whatever is in here. I'm gonna put up a recipe for this. Um, I hope you get to see this so you can try it along with the pilau. And, now I'm just going to take a little bit of this, just a little, and try it with my pillow. 
This is really hot. This is really hot. And you know what guys, if you're anything like me, you like spicy food, this is the chutney that you should make it along with this pilau. If you want to go for a little bit of a, you know, um, smoother, soother uh, palate, then go for uh, curd. You can uh, have curd with this pilau. Mm. This is actually very, very delicious. And you saw how quickly this all came together. So on a busy weekday, do make this recipe for your family and I'm sure they're going to enjoy this as much as I am enjoying it and my family is enjoying it. So I'll see you very soon. Till later. Take care. Bye-bye.